Turning now to the war between Israel and Hamas. The Guardian newspaper is reporting this morning that Israel has presented a proposal to the United Nations which outlines a plan to dismantle UNRWA, the organization's relief agency for Palestinians. Dominic Valaitis is in our London bureau tracking all of the details for us. So, Dom, good morning to you. What more can you tell us? Well, Hillary, according to the paper, uh, Israel's proposal to dismantle UNRWA was uh, presented to the UN last week. We're told that the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres is in receipt of it, although no comment from him yet. Uh, under the terms of Israel's proposal, we, we understand that uh, three to four hundred of the agency's staff would initially be transferred to another UN agency like the World Food Programme or to an entirely new organisation specially created to distribute food aid in Gaza. And according to the paper, more UNRWA employees would then be transferred at a later date along with the agency's assets. Now, Israel, uh, Hillary, has claimed as many as 30 of the agency's employees took part in the October 7th attacks. It still hasn't offered any evidence to support that claim. But the allegation, you'll remember, initially led to several countries, including Canada, withdrawing financial support for UNRWA. But with famine looming in Gaza, uh, Ottawa and others have since lifted their funding pauses. But Israel's reported proposal to dismantle the agency has generated alarm in several quarters. According to the, the Guardian newspaper, some within the United Nations and other aid agencies view it as the culmination of a long uh, Israeli campaign to destroy UNRWA. We've also heard from the UN's outgoing humanitarian chief, Martin Griffiths, who uh, posted uh, his uh, concerns on the social media site earlier. He said uh, no other agency has the same reach, uh, experience or trust within the community to destroy aid in Gaza and that uh, any effort to do so without UNRWA would be doomed to fail. Now, I should stress, Hillary, that uh, this is just a proposal by Israel. Ultimately, uh, UNRWA derives its mandate from the United Nations General Assembly, which in theory can alone decide the agency's fate. But as I say, uh, Israel's proposal is generating concern within the United Nations, human rights organizations and other aid agencies. And Dom, the Israeli military says it has withdrawn from the Al-Shifa medical complex. That's after two weeks of heavy fighting around that hospital. What is Israel saying about the operation and how has the hospital been affected? Yeah, that's right. The, uh, the Israeli military said today it, uh, it killed and detained hundreds of gunmen during its two-week operation in and around uh, the hospital complex. It also said its forces seized uh, weaponry and intelligence documents during those battles. Um, according to residents who've since returned to the area, um, the Israeli military has left behind a wasteland of uh, destroyed buildings and that Palestinian bodies are scattered all around. Now, we can't verify those claims, Hillary, nor can we verify allegations being made by Gaza's civil emergency service that Israeli forces had executed two people, that two bodies were found at the complex with their hands tied. No comment yet from Israel about those specific allegations, although it has said that its operation inside Al Shifa had been conducted while preventing harm to civilians, patients and medical teams. Hillary. Okay, Dom, thank you for this. Appreciate it. Thank Dominic Philaitis for us in London.